Matthew here from Fiberglass Supply. We are going to cover stitching for stitch and glue boat building. Stitch and glue boats are plywood boats made out of shaped panels. Uh, here we're going to start by stitching the bow of the boat together and then we'll stitch the transom on it loosely and after we've done that we'll join it to that bottom panel. Uh, the wire we're using here is a 19 gauge annealed wire. Uh, the annealed wire is a little softer and, and takes the twists and turns better and is less likely to snap on you, especially if you've got to loosen it up and then retighten it. We're also going to be using a little bit of 18 gauge galvanized because we're running out of the annealed and, and the galvanized is what we had on hand, but it doesn't work nearly as well. So we've scribed the line along the bottom of the boat here and now we're drilling holes every three inches and then we're going to flex the side onto it or the sides so they're pretty close to where they should be and now we'll go through and match drill the sides so that the holes match up with the holes on the bottom. It's pretty important that they're close. Uh, they don't have to be exact but close helps otherwise when you go to tighten the wire it'll want to shift one of the panels uh, out, of, out of position. And So we're going to get these in here, uh, these side wires. Nice and loose is what you want to start with but you want everything kind of held where it needs to be. Uh, you can run the wire from either the inside or the outside uh, we'll pull on the panel slightly differently depending on, on which side it's on. Uh, but like the bow wires, there's not enough room inside that bow to, to get in there and twist. So those definitely would go on the outside. Um, the other ones, they can go either place. And Start out loose, like I said. Um, once you've got everything there and it's kind of held together, then you can begin sequentially tightening everything up until you get the final shape that you want and, and are happy with it. So here we are, we've got the sides and the, and the bottom stitched together. We've lined it up nice and neat. And next we'll tack weld it in place with five minute epoxy and then fill it and glue it. So we'll show those in another video. Thanks for watching and happy boating.